So, you found yourself in the skinny fat category. Well, are you skinny, are you fat, are you both, what are you? You know, people don't want to be skinny, so they go to the gym to put on muscle. They don't want to be fat, so they go to the gym to lose weight. But, if you're both, that makes you a hybrid. And everyone knows only nerds drive hybrids. Just kidding, kek w lol. I'm gonna tell you guys today in this video how you're gonna escape the skinny fat dilemma. If this is you, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna tell you the best options you can take to get out of that physique category. Okay, so the first thing you want to do... I think we have enough f***ing angles, bro. I think three is enough, thank you. Go somewhere else, go do something else. Wow, alright, douchebag. I was just trying to help with production. Whatever. Anyways. Let's talk about what is skinny fat. So. Typically, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen to get an idea if your physique looks like this, you're probably skinny fat. And what is skinny fat? It's basically when you have too little muscle mass in comparison to your fat mass and you get like a kind of an odd, I mean, it's not really odd, but you know, you get kind of an unusual look to your physique where if you're wearing a t-shirt, you look skinny, but if you take it off, then you could be, con you could be considered chubby. It's subjective, but how do you get out of this? And so there's actually several options here. So, you know, a lot of people argue different methods. So I'm gonna tell you what I would do if I was in the skinny fat category. So first option you can take is to go on a cut. And I actually don't like this option to start out with. A lot of people will tell you, first thing you should do is lose the body fat you have, get leaner, and then you'll end up just being skinny and then do a lean bulk and gain muscle mass. And then that will be the best way to get out of it. I disagree because the main problem you're dealing with is that you have too little muscle mass. Here's what I think you should do. The first things first, you need to mentally prepare yourself that you're going to go on a bulk. I know you probably look in the mirror and you feel a little bit insecure about your physique and you just want to be shredded. You want to look like Ziz, bro. You want to look like those rave guys. You want to be shredded. You want to get the girls, etc. It takes time. So to, in order to set you up for success in the future, it's going to get ugly before it gets pretty. So we're going to put you on a bulk and I say six to nine months minimum. You're going to go on a bulk. Now, what does this mean? Your main focus should be adding mass lean muscle mass, putting on weight, getting stronger in the gym, increasing your numbers on your compound lifts, focusing on straight muscle growth and not worrying about fat gain. You probably will gain fat in the next six to nine months and that's okay because it won't look like that if you're really putting the work in the gym and sleeping enough and eating enough protein. So what I want you to do is at least bare minimum, eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you're skinny fat, let's say you weigh 160, you're 5'11 male, you're 160, eat at least 160 grams of protein. It's going to allow you to put on sufficient amounts of muscle every week as the months go on month by month you'll start to notice you know incremental gains on the scale and in the mirror you're going to start to notice you know your shoulders will get a little bit broader your back's going to get bigger your chest etc okay don't worry about the fat gain your main goal right now should be get stronger on all your compound lifts you know incline dumbbells pull-ups rows squats overhead press all the big compound lifts that's what you want to get stronger in definitely do the accessories but you want to make sure you're training extremely hard go almost to failure for you know majority of your sets at least one set per exercise should be to failure that's how you're going to ensure muscle growth train really hard sleep a minimum of eight hours per night as well and this is going to be the first step to getting out of the skinny fat category okay you're going to have to take some time really grind really focus on having intense workouts so you should really be in the zone bro and trying to get jacked this is the key put on as much muscle mass as you can in the next six to nine months that will lead you to phase two so now you're at phase two let's say fast forward six months to nine months right and you've put on let's say you've put on 20 pounds right 20 pounds you do look a little bit chubbier but you're significantly larger people can tell like hey you start working out like you look bulky now now you're starting to look massive now you've definitely put on some size. The key now is I want you to do a cut. You're gonna do a cut for the next three to four months, 12 to 16 weeks. Slowly lower your calories, but do not lower your protein. Your protein should still stay one gram per pound of body weight. And you still wanna train as intensely as when you were bulking, okay? You're gonna notice a little bit of strength decrease as the week goes on, but you need to continue to eat enough protein and train intensely, and most importantly, sleep enough to make sure you don't lose the gains that you made in the last six to nine months. So a lot of people disagree with bulking and cutting cycles, but I feel like this is the best option to get out of the skinny fat category. Like I said, it's gotta get ugly before it gets pretty. So you're gonna do that bulk, then you're gonna go on a cut, okay? You reduce your calories gradually, do a little bit of cardio, 
until you get to a body fat that you're comfortable with, I would say anywhere between 10 to 15%. That's what you want to cut to. The reason I'm going to have you do this is because by the time you get that lean, you're going to notice your physique is significantly different from when you were skinny fat. You're going to have way more muscle and less fat. And now you have primed yourself for success. You've set yourself up for success in the future. Now you might never, ever have to bulk or cut again. What you can do from this point on is main gain. You enter a lean bulk, maybe a two to 300 calorie surplus and focus on long-term slow gains. That's gonna be key. In my opinion, I think this is the best way to go about it. Go through that bulking phase, you know, enjoy it while you can, you know, eat more food, go out and eat with your friends if you want. Enjoy the strength increases in the gym, really just get big. And then when the time comes, shed that fat off. So it should be done in phases. And then after that, it'll probably be a year. A lot can happen in a year. Let's say you bulk for nine months, cut for three, your physique will be completely different. If you really took the training seriously, you slept enough, minimum eight hours a night, or I guess minimum seven if you really can't do eight, right? You drank a lot of water, you know, you took recovery seriously, you were eating enough protein, you're training hard, all of the above, you're gonna look like night and day difference. Your physique is gonna be so much better. If I were skinny fat, this would be my solution to it. Everyone is scared of bulking nowadays because social media makes you think you gotta have abs year round. No, 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 no. It depends on your goals. You don't need to worry about having abs, especially if you're skinny fat. The abs will come in the future. Put the work in now. Reap the rewards later on. That's how you do it. So I'm going to make like an extensive document. It's in the description below on how to get out of the skinny fat category. It's going to be free to download. But if you want, you know, you can throw me a dollar or two because it will help keep the channel alive so I can keep making videos like this. So if you want, it's going to be the first link in the description. Go download the guide to getting out of the skinny fat dilemma. It's pretty much going to be everything I said in this video in a little bit more detail. To recap really quick, if you're skinny fat, go on a bulk, six to nine months. Okay, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Focus on increasing the weight on compound lifts. Get way stronger, get way bigger. Don't worry about fat gain. Step two, three to four month cut, 12 to 16 weeks. Try to get to 10 to 15% body fat. Still eat a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Sleep enough, do all the stuff, train hard. Focus on mainly losing fat. You're gonna lose some strength, don't worry about that. Goal is to lose fat. And then boom, after that year phase, it will be night and day. Honestly, your, your physique will look entirely different. From then on, you have set yourself up for success. You'll never have to cut or bulk again unless you really want to. After that, you lean bulk, main gain for the rest of your life and make slow, natty gains or hop on the sauce. I don't recommend doing that. If you want to do that, it's up to you. I'm not a doctor. Don't take my advice. Do whatever the you want to do. So with that being said, go check out the document. This is Ski Mask Duets signing out. I hope you found some value in that. Let's create the best version of ourselves and the most aesthetic, not skinny fat version of ourselves to give to the world. All right, peace. I'm gonna pass out. Oh.